show them we are more than meets the eye. Let's rewind to the 80s for a moment. Remember rushing home from school? Sitting too close to the TV and letting Transformers take over your world? Autobots, Decepticons, and a whole lot of explosions. It wasn't just a show. It was a reason for living. If you were really dedicated like yours truly, Transformers the movie was more than just an animated film. It was a life-changing event. So when I heard about Transformers 1, I went in cautiously. Could it ever live up to the Transformers greatness of my childhood? Well, guess what? Not only does it live up to the hype, but Transformers 1 is also easily the best movie in the franchise since the 1986 emotional roller coaster. Trust me, this is a Transformers movie you've been waiting for, whether you're an OG fan or just getting into the world of Cybertron. Right out the gate, let me just say that Transformers 1 is a visual masterpiece. The animation alone is worth the price of admission. This movie brings Cybertron to life in a way we haven't seen before. Every corner of that metallic planet is bursting with life and personality. And best of all, no humans. Yep, not a single one. We get to immerse ourselves fully in the world of Cybertron without any pesky Earthlings getting in the way. This movie strips things back to the essentials. Autobots, Decepticons, and a lot of robot smackdowns. And can I just say, it's about damn time. For once, we get to see what it's like for these bots to exist without the distraction of humans messing everything up. And for those of us who always wondered what day-to-day -day life on Cybertron would be like, this is the answer we've been waiting for. Here's where Transformers 1 really hit me in the nostalgia feels. Seeing characters like Starscream, Shockwave, and Soundwave looking exactly the way I remembered them as a kid. It's like they were pulled straight from my old toy collection and thrown onto the big screen. Starscream is still that convincing, backstabbing snake we love to hate. And his voice, spot on. Shockwave and Soundwave are equally epic, each one bringing their sinister energy that made them stand out Decepticons back in the day. They haven't aged a day, in a world where Hollywood loves to update designs for modern tastes, it's beyond refreshing to see these characters faithfully recreated in all their retro glory. These weren't just robots on screen, they were my robots, the ones I grew up watching. Speaking of characters, the Autobots and Decepticons in this movie are fantastic. Orion Pax, our hopeful ambitious hero, is impossible not to love. His friendship, or should I say eventual rivalry, with D-16, who we all know is destined to become Megatron, is at the heart of this story. D-16's transition from an honorable warrior to a power-hungry rebel is fascinating to watch. It's not just a villain origin story, it's a slow burn tragedy. And then there's Bumblebee, or as he's called here, B. He's a comic relief in the heart of the movie, played to perfection by Keegan-Michael Key. Key brings so much charm and humor to the role that you'll find yourself grinning every time B is on screen. His quips are hilarious, and Key's voice work is so lively, you can practically see him in your mind, giving those signature over-the-top facial expressions. Another thing Transformers 1 gets right, it's fast-paced and to the point. In a little over 90 minutes, and the movie hits the gas from start to finish. No filler, no unnecessary subplots, it's all killer, no filler. One of the coolest things the movie does is set up both sides, Autobots and Decepticons, as potential heroes depending on your perspective. It adds a layer of depth to the story that's more than just good guys versus bad guys. Okay, so I'm not completely blinded by nostalgia here. I do have one minor complaint. It's about Megatron's turn to the dark side. D16's transformation into Megatron is awesome, but it happens a little too fast for my liking. One minute he's talking about needing a new system for Cybertron, and the next he's going full on tyrant. I get it, the movie's got to keep moving, but I wouldn't have minded just a little more time to explore his descent into villainy. Now let's be real for a second. So is Transformers 1 better than the Transformers the movie? Not quite, but it comes closer than any other movie has. The original had that gut-riching emotional punch. Optimus Prime's death, anyone? That hit us like a freight train when we were kids. It was the equivalent of finding out Darth Vader was Luke's father. That kind of emotional sucker punches hard to top. The Transformers 1 brings the fun, the action, and the nostalgia in spades. Whether you grew up with these characters or you're just discovering them, this movie is an absolute blast. So what are you waiting for? Hit the like button, subscribe, and let's talk Transformers in the comments. Who's your favorite Autobot or Decepticon? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.